Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual with Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. This channel is all things tarot and spirituality. And today I have for you guys a tarot read along. And this is where you pull cards along with me and we discern messages together. So if you could want to take a moment to grab your cards, even grab a piece of paper, a pencil, so you can jot down notes if you need to. Today we have an important message from your intuition. Two pals to pick from. Pal one. Pal two. We have the clear quartz. Excuse my nail, by the way. That's burn. <laughs> and we also have here the cluster amethyst. And this is going to be the Shadowscapes Tarot, my first tarot deck actually. And this is the Fountain Tarot. So again, this is a tarot read along. You can pull your cards. You can pause the video, pull your cards, pick your, well, excuse me, pick your pal, and then pause the video, pull your cards, and then start from whichever uh, pal you picked, all right? So after all of that noise, now to your readings. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your reading, part ones. This would be for if you choose the beautiful clear quartz. This would be what your intuition is trying to tell you, an important message from your intuition. I hope that you had your cards pulled already. If not, you can pause the video and do that and then hit play again. There's so many things I'm noticing as I'm talking, ironically. Um, but yes, important message from your intuition. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Alright, so this is going to be centered around love. So if it does not resonate with you, then this is not your pal. But well, this is going to be about love, partnership, and what your intuition is trying to tell you to do around love. And advice from your intuition, an important message from your intuition. So we have here the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. The Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, Ten of Ten of Wands, Two of Wands. All right, and then I'm going to also pull from my Marseille. What's it going to? But I'm still called to now. Ten of Wands again. And that's why I like pulling from multiple decks because you really see that the energies are so similar. Ten of Wands here. Right, your intuition is wanting to let you know that the partnership that you seek is definitely going to be available to you. All right. This is, I feel for this pal, you guys may be, you know, seeking love, worried about issues regarding to regarding romance and involving romance. And I feel here a very solid partnership coming in for you but I also feel that there is also lack of belief around your situation and love changing you may want love and you may seek love and you may um, desire love but you also may have a lot of negative beliefs around love you may have seen a lot of negative relationships in your life that could be growing up or just in general from people family friends around you so I really feel here a clearing around the issue of romance, the issue around love, and you really finding a victory um, in romance. But also, again, this being something that takes time because we have the Ten of Wands followed by the Will of Fortune. So this can be a very arduous, you could have been really just seeking and wanting and desiring this for quite a while. Maybe encountering people that you know, pique your interest, but I feel here with the cards, there's definitely this sense of, um, of just being in angst around love, being in 
um, despair around love even, being hopeless around love, needing, maybe not, you know, wanting to go out, you know, isolating yourself with this five of pentacles here. Um, and allowing also your divine energy to be sucked up by the negative stories that you tell yourself about love. So allowing your creative inspiration to be dulled because um, there's this just negative energy or there's, if, if it's not something, maybe this is like a subconscious, for a lot of you guys, if it's resonating, cool. And if it's not, maybe it's going to be this subconscious, you know, belief pattern or subconscious ideas that you have around love. The Nine of Swords is very beautiful, in my opinion, because yes, it does talk about hardship. Yes, it does talk about suffering, basically. But what is the guarantee? Well, not the guarantee, I suppose. But the Nine of Swords is the Hermit card, essentially, and also linked to the Sun as well. And so when you read the Nine of Swords as being linked to the Hermit and the Sun, you see that there is always going to be opportunity for expansion. There will always be opportunity for growth. And that opportunity is going to be really tapped into when you really tap into your heart chakra, when you work past any heartbreaks that you may have had, even really core heartbreaks that you have experienced, even um, just simply, you know, being in human body, being in the human form. So your intuition is trying to tell you and trying to communicate to you that you can open your heart, you know, that um, it's safe to and it's going to be really beneficial for you too as well. I feel this Queen of Swords, excuse me, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, excuse me, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, I think I said that, but I no, in my head I didn't say that. If you channel, you know what I'm going through right now. But anyways, um, this Queen of Cups, Three of Swords energy feels like there is this deep knowing that you have in your heart, or there's this deep acceptance, this deep feeling that you have but then you kind of allow yourself to doubt you allow yourself to um to uh, only think from a certain perspective versus having a very expanded perspective the gift of the three of swords is that it's a victory you know it's success but it's also about perhaps planning and also going back and redoing, restructuring. So it's very interesting. I feel here that you may even feel that you take step fo steps forward, but then take more steps backwards. So let's go ahead and get some more messages about the important message from intuition. And again, this is very clearly about love, you know, and this can also be, I said, I could say a friendship too, you know, but really I'm getting here love energy so spirit what else about what is an important message from this person's intuition we have one 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 you are a magical creator your thoughts are beginning to manifest excuse me. oh excuse me excuse me we have yellow and literally, I said victory. And we have success here. Someone whose message this belongs to. Very, very strong energy you have. And really, again, continuing to cultivate that energy and not allowing anything to degrade your, like, to degrade your energy, to degrade your chi, your prana, your life force energy. Alright, we have here mystery. So there's mystery around the person that you are attracting in. Maybe you don't know this person. Maybe you will meet mysteriously. And we have sweetness. I don't, I don't want to say carry yourself in sweetness. But sweetening your aura. Whatever that means to you. We have here support. We have the Aries energy. The um, Emperor. We have Sever. I feel this is saying several things that don't support your energy, several things that make you depressed, detached, unemotional, and wait for things that are in true alignment with your energy is what spirit is saying when it comes to this love that I'm seeing here. So important message from your intuition. 
really know that your thoughts are manifesting at this time. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. Um, understand that success is in, imminent. You may have to... This apron card always kind of stumps me a little bit. Maybe you will have to go serve others, be of service to others. We have happiness here, a message from your intuition. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So when you're with someone, you may be happy to be with them. A message from your intuition. We have health. I will own the physical virtue that enshrines my soul. And we have pride here. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So this is as you're letting these connections go, as you're severing ties with people who don't serve you, not doing it in a very prideful way, but also, um, you know, having not, you don't have to have unconditional love for others if, if that's not a part of your, like, you know, ideology, but just being very soft and gentle with other people and their energy. Courage. I find their inner strength to face fear with confidence. A message from your intuition. Success. There it is again. My pal ones. I don't know who chose this pal, but we have success three times. So know that you will be successful. You will be victorious in love. Okay. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Fear. I realized that I, I realized that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. All right. So that's going to be all for my pal ones. And this has been your tarot read along. Leave a comment down below if the messages resonated, if they synced up. I would love to know about what you got. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your reading, Pal 2s. This will be for if you chose the stunning and gorgeous Amethyst Cluster. This will be an important message from your intuition, tarot read-along edition. So please pause if you have not pulled the cards that you need, if you want to participate. Literally, there's so many P's. Oh my gosh, I'm just like dying over here. I'm like, is this alliteration or what? If you know, you know. <laughs> but yes, um, you can pause the video and pull your cards if you need to. And then hit play. All right, so if those who are participating have pulled the cards, this will be an important message from your intuition. This is all right, so we have a lot coming out. So we have the Knight of Wands here, we have the Three of Wands, the Hangman. Look at all this orange and yellow. There's a lot of expansive energy here, and I feel the Hangman is also inviting you to. I want to say decompress. We have the emperor. This card, this last pal got the emperor in the same position. And we have the eight of pentacles here. But yeah, the energy here feels very expansive. Your intuition is wanting to let you know that you should change your perspective on a project or a task that you have is what I'm seeing here. Um, this is going to be more business oriented or more project oriented, if you will. So if you're wanting a message about love, then that's going to be your first pal. Um, but for these guys, so my pal twos here, I'm really seeing, um, an expansiveness happening and you need to kind of hold that energy in a certain sense. Um... We have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. I feel the Ten of Swords is linked to this Hangman energy. And it's really asking you to, especially with this um, Eight of Cups here, this emotional reflection, this time of being like kind of in the womb of things, kind of in this place of unknowing because we have because i'm sorry you guys' energies is really interesting because i feel on one hand there's this expansive energy but the hangman is here so i'm like why is the hangman here spirit and it's kind of like not a roadblock but a necessary point of up of upheaval is what i'm seeing here 
in the cards. So I feel the message from your intuition, an important message from your intuition is that you have to kind of ride this, ride this wave of energy and really be in the phase of this is time for reflection. This is time for expansion in that reflection. Um, and this is a time for me to really try to center myself, try to stay grounded, try to stay, you know, grounded with tasks that I know that will help me be stable. Um, this is really about just kind of flowing in a certain sense. And it makes sense because we have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Swords behind it. Wow, and the Devil. So there may be a certain pattern of thinking that often you find yourself spiraling into. And if it is a, a negative perspective or it just makes you feel, you know, like glass half empty versus half full with this mars and scorpio we have here five of cups this is really i guess asking you and suggesting to you to simply allow and to also hold a new perspective with the hangman and also this could be related to this even though this is about a, a business project a lot of our i find that as a business owner myself a lot of my energies about you know, the way I grew up can be trapped in my, can get trapped or projected onto my business. So basically my childhood issues can kind of haunt my business a little bit, you know, not haunt, but just it's, it comes into full perspective or full view. And so I just feel with you guys, there's a certain sense of that happening, of that upheaval happening, but also simultaneously you grounding. So this is going to be, I feel for my light workers here. This pile feels like this is someone who's more like a spiritual entrepreneur or someone that just really has a goal in mind and basically they doubt whether or not they can reach that goal. And so right now, you know, you may feel that nothing is happening, nothing is changing, nothing is moving. You, But there's just, again, this continuous expansion that I'm seeing here and you really doing the small things to ground yourself the small things to make yourself feel stable so the overall message for your, from your intuition here so far here my power ones is that in this time you need to give yourself a certain amount of grace and a certain amount of leeway a certain amount of openness a certain amount of understanding even and really, again, working to center yourself, center your energy, ground your energy, working to harmonize the heart and the mind. Because those can, things can sometimes work against each other. And so we have to find points to get them to work together. And especially in business, this will really kind of ensure success. So we have judgment here, three of cups, seven of pentacles, death. With the five of cups behind it i feel that your intuition is letting you know that i don't know i feel your intuition is it's i feel like a challenge a challenging time for you basically my politics and your intuition is just wanting to let you know that expand you know and also emerge anew all right, so more messages from my power ones, uh, twos, please. Partnerships and balance. Pay attention to new people entering into your life. Take time to to balance your energy and existing ones. So you may have new people entering into your life. Maybe maybe be maybe even having um, people in partnerships, new people in partnerships. Throw into hardship, and that was the hardship, honestly, that I was seeing. And you may feel that you're being subconsciously even you made that feel that you're being punished or just like being kind of like victim mentality really is what this punish card could represent um, especially with the hardship so you could all you can form alliances that could um help with this business thing that i'm seeing here or this like idea passion goal etc and we have voyage here exactly so this hangman energy is kind of like the opposite of this voyage card one is like being you know held down weighed down but it's almost like to like force a change and then the voyage is the time after the time you get to explore expand so we have all this orange red here and we have orange 
enthusiasm and excitement warmth so you're being asked to and called to remain warm to remain open to remain curious to remain um connected to your source of authenticity internally we have hidden knowledge so i also feel that you could be tapping into hidden knowledge at this time and we have love pink love etc i don't think that's important but i guess remembering self-love self-care too all right so important message from your intuition we have success i know that there is no greater goal to love so again this is uh your intuition is letting you know that you will be successful that you can expect to basically win you know um you have discipline especially when you apply discipline your intuition is wanting to let you know that you have to be disciplined that you have to be focused i can accomplish what i set my mind to and i was saying really harmonizing your mind with your heart so your mind can have your use the heart as the compass and you know not not be led astray but so there can just be this sense of equilibrium and we have here indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life with trust it's so strange because i pulled the same combination the other day from my inner child so it's really interesting to see this here um, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. All right, so that was all for you guys for this tarot read along. An important message for me, intuition. Thank you so much for um, participating. And do let me know down in the comment section below if our reading synced up, if you felt some synchronicities. I would love to interact with you guys in the comments. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Namaste.